Hey, hello neighbors, it's Corbellic and welcome to the neighborhood. This is the Minecraft painting show. For anybody who's new to the channel, I'm Corbellic. I used to do a lot of Minecrafting on here about uh, three years ago and then I dropped off and when the game started to die off on YouTube. But I see that it's starting to come back with the a big comeback, a lot of people are playing it, but I wanted to put a new twist on here where you can actually see what I do now full time, which is uh, paint. So I'm going to make this into a painting show where I go through a lot of old buildings and, and things like that. But then I'm also going to uh, show you some of the painting process of what I do in real life on a time lapse. This world, as you can see, it was built in uh, June 2012 on the 360 then I converted it over to the uh, Xbox one so it took me a little bit less than five years to create this world I did it all alone and uh, here let's just come kind of fly up a little bit just so you can see a little bit of what the neighborhood is there's so many areas there's a uh, Egypt right here then there's my main town uh, here's my bridge I got another bridge and I have a subway system that runs all the way around this world so let's get this started right now and just head over to the house and then uh, we can get started on this uh, painting time lapse. For all my returning um, fans or uh, viewers who watch this, how have you guys been doing? What's been going on? Let me know what's uh, what's new. Um, let me know, you know, anything that you guys have been up to or anything that you guys would like to see me do on this, uh, you know, this series of where I'm going to be having Minecraft, but also introducing um, a lot of my styles of how I paint so I think that would be pretty cool to show you guys let's see which way do we want to go uh, yeah let's let's go to the house so that way it's going to take us straight to the house you can see there there was a switch back there where one was going to take us to the ship underground and the other is going to take us straight to the house this house when I originally created it it was built from a mountain it was all carved out of a mountain and it took me like two weeks to do it this was before they had creative mode or before they had any any of that uh, other stuff whoa <laughs> let me back out of there let me grab this so this right here this is uh, the house I think there's like uh, six floors or six stories or something like that I mean like I said it's been a while since I played Minecraft but it, I, I think it would be pretty cool to see what's new on here what's been changed I see a lot of uh, pieces of ice have uh, melted and and also some things don't work well what is that <laughs> look like a llama all right so right here i'm about to make the transition where we're going to do uh, some painting right now and uh to support this channel it'd be cool if you guys come over to the website let me know what you guys think all prints are available for purchase and uh let's get this started right now and i'll see you guys shortly Anytime I started painting out, I always start with gesso. Gesso, it looks like white paint, but it's really like a white thick chalk. That way, uh, anything that you paint, it doesn't absorb into the raw canvas because raw canvas could be like painting on a raw towel. It'll absorb and it'll soak in all the paint and it'll make it really difficult for the paint to move around. And it also makes it difficult for these colors to pop. So any painting that I do, that's just a word of advice to save yourself a lot of paint, to save yourself time, get some gesso, put it on there and you'll have a great time painting. Next thing that I wanted to focus on when I did this uh, portrait or any portrait that I do, I try to take care of the skin complexion and I try to work on the lips and I try to work on the eyes. I can always correct it later on if I don't like the color of it, but at least if I do it, I get what the principal looks like. I get what he what he looks like or what she looks like. Um, anything that I'm doing, I try to get some of the main colors down and I can correct it later on. But at least I'm looking at something and I'm making some type of progress in my head. So I'm just still going on with the process right now, which is the mosaic part, which I'm put, uh, filling in all the triangles, I'm filling in all the squares, all the things that I referenced out on my drawing when the gesso dried and I drew it out to, to the character's face of all the different little areas of where I want the colors to pop out. So I'm just focusing in on all the colors right now and we're not doing no lines yet. The lines is the last part where we do the black lining and we really make that mosaic look pop. But Right now, I'm just focusing in on the colors, making sure the colors are in there. And I wanted to protect this painting a lot so you can see I'm wearing a white latex glove. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm working on the background. So I wanted to have like this look since it was a Rocket Man piece. 
I wanted to have where, uh, you know, Rocket Man from Earth. So I used retro pictures, actual vintage uh, photography from the NASA moon landing, uh, the Apollo mission, where it has, you know, there's the rocket ship right there, and then you can see actual pictures from the astronaut and then the moon. So one, it looks like one the astronaut has fallen on the left hand side, and the other one is going up. The sunglasses I'm doing right now, those are a hundred pieces of, of rhinestones, small rhinestones that I use and I placed individually on the sunglasses with a uh, artist tweezer of sort. That way I put it onto a uh, matte uh, medium so that way it didn't have too much shine. The only shine was going to be from the rhinestone. So going back with the background, I feel like it means like humility to be humble because what goes up must come down. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I'm just filling in all the areas now. Now, now I'm just focusing on the lines, which is the the mosaic part, right? Filling in the the lines of the squares that we have. But something that I was really excited to try on this painting that was going to be kind of new is that I was going to do a glazing technique. Now I've done glazing techniques before, but this would be the first time that I've done it where like on sunglasses, because. Elton John always has like tinted sunglasses. It, it, it just doesn't look plain like this. So you can see right now, I use that technique on there where it still keeps the color underneath all those colors that we did, but yet it has like a, a little small coloring on top of the sunglasses. It's a tint technique where it makes it look tinted and it gives it that shine and we don't lose any color. I do the same thing with this bow tie at the end so we can have a little bit more blue technique and you can just see us fill fill that in but um yeah that's that's mostly what i do and then at the end i try to have like a little street flare where i put some uh graffiti markings on there which is usually i use the pink and that's what it looks like so that was the video process of me doing elton john right there i hope you guys really enjoyed it i know i had fun doing it and um, if there's any questions that you guys might have that I didn't address in the video, just reach out to me and ask me, or you could just type it in the comments below. I'll definitely type back to you. I'm really quick that way. I wanna try to do better things. So let me know what you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, it would be appreciative to support this channel. If you go to the website and check out some of the prints, they are free shipping worldwide. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like always, thank you for leaving a like, comment in the video description below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.